Why hello everyone, and welcome to my Modern Wednesday stream, where I play and sample modern games for modern systems. And I define modern as being any system that natively outputs HDMI, such as Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS3, PS4, Wii U, and Switch. If I ever get a Switch, that is, that would definitely fall into here. I am playing a little gem called Sonic Mania. I decided uh, I was going to do a little thing this week where I'd play the first Sonic game that came out on consoles, Sonic 1, Sonic the Hedgehog on the Sega Genesis for Retro Monday, and I did that. And now I'm going to play the most recent Sonic game, Sonic Mania, here on the Xbox One. Uh, this is a game I got updated to Sonic Mania Plus, which unfortunately I do not have, which came in a physical edition. I have the digital, original digital release of the original game. If I want to, I could upgrade it for another five bucks, but eh, maybe I'll get a physical copy of it someday. But regardless, this is a cool game. This is a cool game. It's a 2D side-scrolling Sonic game. Not quite a Genesis-style game, because it's doing stuff that the Genesis could not have done. It's more like, what if uh, Sega had made a 32-bit 2D Sonic game for the Saturn. And I mean, in fact, that's what the creator, the developer of this, Christian Whitehead, stated his uh, design for this game was. It was, what if Sega had made a 2D 32-bit side-scrolling Sonic for the Sega Saturn? This is pretty much what it'd be like. Except it's in high definition, and in this case on my screen, 4K because it was patched to support the Xbox One X. So yeah, we've got a number of options here, including DLC. We've got some more zones in it and a couple of characters that were introduced in the actual first Sonic game, an arcade game, Mighty and Ray. Hey, what's up? Someone in, uh, someone in the chat, how's it going? Maybe one day I'll get this, I don't know. I think I'd be interested in getting the physical version of this so I can get that cool Genesis looking cover on it. So yeah, got time attack, completion, options. Now check this out. Check out the control options. Yep. <laughs> That's the controls. There's no changing it. It's just jump. I have the video filter set to none. Well, the original creators of Sonic are um, Yuji Naka and Sega, the Sonic team. The person who created this particular game is a guy named Christian Whitehead, who came out of the um, who came out of the fan game community, the Sonic fan community, and um, he was most famous before that for developing the iOS port of Sonic CD. Uh, something he made in his spare time, and then Sega contracted him to officially port it to the platform. Hey, someone else in the chat. How's it going? But the answer who created Sonic? Sega did. Originally. I'm gonna hop in. Here's my clear save. Not sure why I put it all the way over to the right like that, but I guess that's where it starts. Yep. And I'm just gonna create a new save here. I am playing this on an Xbox One X, so I am seeing it in 4K, but I don't have the internet band, the internet speed to upload or stream. I don't have the ability to stream this in 4K. My internet ain't good enough. Created characters. I believe they were created in Japan. Ooh, what's going on here? Sega of Japan originally created it, but then there was a split after the first Sonic game where uh, Yuji Naka left the company, but then joined the Sega Technical Institute in California, and he created what would later be called Sonic 2. While I think one of the um, one of the other designers, I can't remember if it was an art designer or like a music program or something, he stayed behind in Sega and he created what would later be called Sonic CD. 
So most of the um, Sonic, 2D Sonic games are actually created in America, with the exception of the first one and of course Sonic CD. Created by the Sega Technical Institute based in California. San Jose, somewhere in Silicon Valley. Sonic 1 was created in Japan, Sonic CD was created in Japan, but Sonic 2, Sonic 3, Sonic and Knuckles, those are created in the US. It's funny, the only thing, um, this game came out in 2017, and really the only reason this is not my personal favorite um, 2D game from that year is because that's also the same year that um, Cuphead came out, and that's going to be my favorite 2D game from that year, or perhaps even any recent year. But this is like, this is still a really good game. Before I get it for dirt cheap now. So if you don't have this, you should probably get it. It's out on everything. Switch, PS4, Xbox One, I assume PC, but I don't know that for sure. If the Vita were still a viable platform, it probably would be out on that too. Okay, I don't know why I did that. Okay, I saw them somewhere around here. Where'd the... Where's the perfect... Ah, I see them. Uh, how in the world do I get over there? About getting into... About that. Yeah, I failed. Definitely not for the first time, and it won't be for the last time either. So yeah, so the thing about um, this game is that um, obviously this is clearly inspired by Green Hill Zone. It's not quite the same, but you can tell what they were trying to do here. But this game isn't just a rehash of old Sonic levels, even though it has a lot of them. There, there are some new levels in this game, too. And even the old style levels, like this one, have a number of twists. And one of those twists will become apparent in Act 2. When I get there. Uh, one thing is obvious that I have the electric shield in this level that's clearly meant to be a Sonic 1 level. The electric shield didn't exist back then. Obviously. But check this out. Let's see if I can uh, do this thing here. Got the fire shield. Looking for a specific part. Got one up. Ooh, that's going off pretty close to the spikes there. Where is it? Where's the stupid thing? Oh, look at that. I'll go grab this while I'm at it. Okay, our goal here is to catch the UFO. This is, again, inspired by the, um, the sort of special 3D-like special stages from Sonic CD. More of these blue uh, things you grab, the faster you go. The more rings you get, the more time you get. And the goal is to catch the UFO. There will also be shortcuts. 
take. The grass, I believe, slows you down. I'm missing a lot of these. Ah, dang, damn it. There we go. Got it. Hey, what's up? Showing us in the chat. Welcome. How's it going? Okay, the thing I was wanting to show... It's gotta be coming up, right? Dag damn it. Well, so much for that. I was gonna show me, um, burning the, um... The rotating, um... Spike. Wow, I can't talk right now. That thing that has spikes on it that you run across and it damages you, it hurts you. But apparently, I have to wait for later. So, uh, interesting take on the first boss from Sonic 1. Gonna turn red and drop, bounce, bounce. Wow. No, I don't think this is Dr. Eggman Eggman just yet. Good job, Tails. Oh, it didn't give me anything. I don't know if this is a controversial take or not, but I prefer the name Robotnik. Dr. Robotnik. Which, interestingly enough, that's what they call him um, in the trailers for the, the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. They call him Robotnik. Maybe that will change as part of the story of the movie? I don't know. I heard from listening to the, a recent Bombcast um, them talking about how there's some sort of comic book based canonical reason why Dr. Robotnik became Dr. Eggman and has something to do with uh, him creating a ro roboticizing himself and deciding to change his name maybe cloning himself as well I'm not sure he's called he was always called Eggman in Japan and until the Dreamcast Sonic Adventure, he was called um, Robotnik here. And then they changed it to Eggman. I don't know when the movie's coming out. I think it's... I know it's this year. I don't know if it's March or later. Ah, crap. Sorry about that. Let me look that up. Uh, it says it's coming out February 14th. I have no idea if I actually want to see that or not. It did make Sonic look a lot better. Oh yeah, that's actually kind of soon. That's in less than a month. Okay, here's that, um, that thing. If you walk on that log, that rotating log, the spikes while you have the fire shield, it burns. And you get a um, an achievement or a trophy for doing that the first time. Wow, what in the... Okay. So I, I haven't really played much of this game since I beat it um, a couple years ago. I actually um, streamed the whole thing. But I would not recommend going back to watch that stream because that's when I still had my crappy internet. And I was only streaming at about 2 megs a second on the upload side. So it kind of looks like crap. I got much better internet now. Oh, 
Wow. I... Funny, because I got all the Chaos Emeralds in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and I played through that a few months ago. I didn't have that much difficulty then. Okay, here we go. Fire shield, watch this. Boom. Isn't that cool? That's not cool, but still. Got to do the stupid thing that I wanted to do. So I'm pretty happy. When you say you prefer the look of the cartoon, which one are you referring to? Referring to Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, the Saturday morning cartoon from the 90s? Or the one that was on the weekday afternoons after school that featured like uh, Rover and Scratch and or Grounder and Scratch and Coconuts? Or are you referring to Sonic, um, what was that one from the late 90s, early 2000s? Not Sonic Rush, but Sonic Underground. I must admit, when I beat this game a couple years ago, I did not get all the Chaos Emeralds. Unfortunately, I've ne never been good at um, finding the giant rings in this game. And I also found this particular special stage difficult. That's interesting. Usually those fish are jumping up and down. I don't think I've ever seen them swimming side to side like that. Hmm. Maybe I have and I just didn't notice it. I don't think I have. Crap. Not my finest work. Okay, that's unacceptable. Let me grab this while we're at it. I enjoy these games, but I never claim to be good at them. Ooh, I didn't see the spikes there. What? There's no water in Green Hill Zone. Alright. <laughs> Here's a little thing. Um, you can actually have um, tails lift you up places without having to use a second controller. Double jump. Well, it's a little tricky to do, but you can do it. Come on, Tails. Come on, Tails. No? Alright. Well, if I get a chance, I'll show it later. By the way, am I coming through well on the mic? Tell me in the chat, let me know. Maybe. Oh, this guy. Yes, this is the last boss from Sonic 2. Okay. Kind of tricky for the first boss of the game, for the first, I guess the second boss of the game, but still.
I think the first time I, when I actually beat this guy back then, I got stuck behind him and hitting him. I'm kind of waiting for him to stick his arm out. Just have to be closer. There we go. Supposed to climb on his arm. Okay, he's grabbing that ring tail. Wow, that's a terrible time to try that. Whoa, what? I don't know what happened there. Apparently I didn't beat him in time. did not damage him. I'm sorry, I did not have this much difficulty back then. <laughs> I really want to get to the next stage. Obviously, I'm going to. It's just a matter of um, having a little bit of perseverance. There we go. Sorry about that. No, I, I don't intend on trying out the rest of the games from, from software. I may at some point try um, Bloodborne, but unfortunately, for the most part, those types of games uh, don't really appeal to me all that much. I was mainly interested... Ooh, ooh these guys mainly interested in Sekiro because of how much it look, looks like Ninja Gaiden and how different from the other games it is. I understand that Bloodborne is a, mo is a lot easier than Dark Souls and such. But, um... But yeah, I'm, I'm mainly just interested in Sekiro because of its own unique quality. Sorry if I disappoint you by saying that, but I don't think I'm going to get into the um, Souls game as a result of my playing in the Jordan Bloodborne. I'm having all sorts of difficulty here today. So good right then. Wow. That was not how that was supposed to go. Ah. I hate that song. I really do. Oh well. Saved by the giant ring, I guess. I missed that ring. Great. Uh...
I say partially depending on how much um how many rings you have on you at the time that you enter. That might explain a few things. Alright. I'm supposed to hit these on ah dag damn it. I'm supposed to hit these up in the boxes. I almost hit one of them. Nope, can't go that way. Need some rings here. Apparently the rings don't respawn. I don't know, it doesn't seem like they do. trying to get. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get it. Nope. Time for Uh, what's my game of the year for 2019? Um, Control. Control was my game of the year for 2019. I did a game of the year stream uh, Christmas Day of last year. Right. Okay, that happened. <laughs> you think you can't get crushed by something stupid? Yeah. No, the Control was my favorite game of last year. All right, Tails. No? Nothing up there? I love the backgrounds of this level. That's the thing I always liked about Sonic games, is they're really complex and impressive looking backgrounds. Not just, the, yeah, obviously there's a parallax going, but just looking at art in the background. It just looks really nice. It's like, um, the same way I really like skyboxes and, um, Halo or Destiny. I really like the way this looks. But yeah, my top five games of last year were Control, Devil May Cry 3, The Outer Worlds, um, Mortal Kombat 11, and, or Gears of War 5, and then Mortal Kombat 11. I think I had um, Ukulele in the Impossible Lair and Bloodstained Ritual of the Night as a couple of honorable mentions. Because I thought that having a top five and an on some honorable mentions sounded better than having a top seven. Those were, in fact, the seven games that I beat last year that came. Those were the seven games, 2019 games I actually beat last year. I did not include Sekiro on that list because I did not beat it yet. And I still haven't. Okay, what?
checkpoint. Let's try this again. I think you get like art and other bonus type stuff um, when you beat these levels, especially if you get a perfect on them. Which is to say, you get all the rings. So far, so good. Guess not. <laughs> I panicked. I started doing stuff that was not correct. Remember what this boss actually does. Okay. There we go. I was about to say he kind of seems like the last boss of Metropolis Zone. But no. Second act, I uh, kind of introduces some unique, uh, interesting mechanics here, like um, these bouncy um, substances. That uh, stuff that was not in the original Sonic 2, obviously, but it's fitting with the theme of this level. This chemical plants on that wall. It's kind of a neat effect here. to the right when I have the choice. Ah, you see when it's blue like that it hurts you when you land on it, but when you inject it with this stuff, it makes it safe and turns into a, a bounce pad, pretty much. Okay, so you see that thing I just got, what that does is that when, if you were to get hit, uh, it will turn it in, turn all the rings you lose into blue rings, which are much easier to collect. Instead of being like, uh, however how many actual rings you have in gold rings, you get like uh, a fifth of that in blue rings, and you can much more easily get them all back then. I think that's what it does. I may be wrong about the ratio, though. All right. Sure, I'll take that. Ah, oh, that's clearly a knuckle spot. Huh. All right. Oh, Tails, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, 
But yeah, Control was my favorite game of last year, which is kind of surprising because I kind of expected it to be Devil May Cry or Devil May Cry 5, but when it came down to it, Remedy, developers of Control, is one of my favorite, my, my all-time favorite developers, and this is probably the best game they've ever made. So, the my favorite developer making their best game, yeah, that's going to be my favorite game of the year. And I don't think that's a weird, uh, I don't think that's a weird logic to operate under. I probably should not have done that, but whatever. I've yet to get a single one of these things today, so it probably doesn't matter. I'm not going to worry about the rings, I guess. I'm just going to get... The orbs. Start small here. Because for some reason I can't seem to... That was close. Ah. I wonder if the inherent input lag of uh, modern systems is throwing me off a little bit because I keep expecting a control like Sonic 3 or like Sonic and & Knuckles and might be throwing off my timing or something. I don't know. Seems like a pathetic thing to blame my poor performance on, but it's possible. I mean, an earlier a Retro Monday stream that I did couple of them where I played through Sonic 3 Knuckles getting all seven of the Chaos Emeralds and all seven of the Super Emeralds. Um, I had no problem. I had almost no trouble getting the Emeralds. See, okay, it turns into giant rings. See? Look at that. Oh yeah, the Mean Bean Machine clone. Mean Bean Machine sequence, which is just Poyo Poyo Tetris, from what I understand. I, I, from what I understand, this uh, was sort of dumbed down to make it as easy as possible. I guess for the benefit of people who don't play these types of games normally. And by dumb down, I mean they make Robotnik here really bad at this. Of course, if you're also bad at this, that doesn't really help. God, I may not be doing great, but look at Robotnik over there on the right. <laughs> he is definitely not doing great. Come on, give me a yellow or a red one. No, you're not gonna give me a yellow or a red one? Here we go.
That's not helpful at all. But it doesn't matter, Robotnik's about to lose this anyway. I'll give him a little helping hand, though. There we go. Cool. Now, unless I'm mistaken, the next level has the best music in this game, in my opinion. This one, right here. This is the first new level of this game. Actually, one more. If I can't change the audio levels to make it louder. Oh well. Wow. I just love this music. Come on. Oh, it doesn't actually give you any rings. Alright, well, I'll take it anyway. Be this group takes ages. It takes Sega. Ah, ages is b Sega backwards. Okay, that's interesting. Sega Ages. Oh, remember the old Sega Ages collection? Sega Ages backwards is Sega Ages. What? Okay, how? All right, Tails, we're gonna need your help here. There we go. All right, let's try this again. Want to hit the thing on the right? Ah, uh, dang it! I just want to get that giant ring. No, I missed it. I'll get it next time, or maybe not. I'm going too fast for that, aren't I? Nope, I missed it. I can't remember if I ever got any more than the first Chaos Emerald in. I played this a couple years ago. There's nothing technically stopping me from running backwards, I guess, but... Ah, that sounds annoying. Uh, I think I figured out the problem. I needed the other one as a bounce as a springboard. Or maybe there's some so sort of shortcut I'm missing. I watched my friend play through this game. And I, I think, actually, I think I even helped. I was playing... 
I think we were playing two Knuckles and somehow we got it to where you could have two versions of two Knuckles in one game. I can't remember how or if we had to do anything weird for that, but yeah. I think I watched him get not all the Chaos Emeralds, but certainly more than what I've gotten here. I don't know. I have to ask him about that. What the world is going on here? Oh, here's another chance. Okay. Oh. Yeah, there's totally another path that this, that this thing is going on. Boy, do I feel like a moron. Because I am one. Oh, it's, it's, it's a speed boost. For some reason, I was thinking yeah, I needed to get to a higher platform. But no. Let's just, hey. This, this, guy, this thing goes this direction. Okay. Now I got it. Now I understand. Sorry about that, folks. I'm not the sharpest tool in the in the shed. <laughs> Kinda does anyone know if this if the soundtrack for this game has been released on vinyl? Because if it is, this would be a game I would definitely like to get on vinyl. This soundtrack here, because I really like it. And I'm not the kind of person who, who does that. I generally get like classic rock on vinyl, because it's generally cheap. But still, this might be the type of game I would go for. This music on. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to beat these guys. I think we want, I think they're gonna shoot missiles at me, and we wanted to hit this thing. Jump over. Okay, we have to, I think I have to jump over the first two of them, and then the third one will hit it. Yeah. The red ones so I have to jump over and then the blue ones so will actually hit it. Well, maybe I have to hit the blue one, actually. Alright. Sorry, it's been a while. Jump over the red ones and then hit the blue one. That is not jumping over the red ones. Can I get another ring, please? Pretty please, sugar on top. There we go. do now, it's just a matter of execution. <laughs> See folks, I don't only struggle in hero, I struggle in other games as well. Maybe I should change the name of my channel to Lousy Gamer. <laughs>
finally got through Act 1. Oh, I think I missed it again. Dag damage. This is one really cool little um, background thing of a projector projecting Robotnik in a 1920s or 1930s style black and white cartoon just sort of dancing. Maybe it's in this one right here. I'm not sure, but I want to go find it because that's, that's cool. Ah. Okay. Uh, that's not cool. I guess that's this game. It's the equivalent of the slot machine from, Son from Casino Night. Casino. Everyone, know, everyone knows Kino is the new slot machine. Is there a particular pattern I have to hit these in? Lock on. What? Really? Okay. Oh, here we go. I got it. Eh, alright, sure. Try this again. I don't think this game has any other special stages. Like the, um, the gumball machine from Sonic 3 or the slot machine also from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Okay, that's how you're supposed to do that. Got it. So there's four more of them I have to find. Ooh. I almost screwed that one up completely. I'm running fast. It's funny, uh, in most instances, running fast is a good thing, but not in this special stage. Makes it harder. Okay, where, where are you? This is not a sphere of infinite size here, people. Here we go. You get a silver one for just beating it. You get a gold for perfecting it. Oh, you fails.
Excuse me, I had to sneeze there for a moment. Ah. I wonder if Nintendo will ever make a game like this. An actual pixel art style Mario game. That might be kind of neat. I mean, obviously, there's a um, Mario Maker, but I mean, an actual game. Of course, it'd be hard for them to do the 32 bit thing because, other than the virtual play, they didn't really have a 32 bit system. Uh, I missed it. Oh well. Look at that. Robot chicken. Alright. Ah! I wonder if I could have grabbed onto the, um... There we go. I could have grabbed onto these poles to prevent myself from flying up in those spikes, you think? I don't know. Hey, at least I beat it on the first try. I can get better. Ah, flying battery zone. Second level in Sonic Knuckles. Music also, this level also has some pretty good music. Yeah, these situations... Ooh, crap. long. No, I 
don't think I want that. Okay, now I do. Just a permanent thing here. Okay, ow. Dang you. Tails. I need your help here, buddy. Oh. Maybe not. Oh well, I guess I'll go down this way then. Got this uh, 3D, um, quasi 3D rotational effect in the background. I don't know if you can notice that. Not rotational, but... Okay, how come that didn't turn to rings? That tells you how many rings there are in the level. Okay, interesting. supposed to get over there. I mean, other than doing that, I guess. Remember spin dashing there? Yeah, sometimes stuff like that just happens. Thank <laughs> you. 
sort of like a Star Wars um, trash compactor scene, I guess. I don't know. Anyone still in the chat? Doesn't seem like it. Well, thanks to anyone who actually joined. Um, I don't blame you for getting out of here. I'm not good at this game or almost any game, maybe, but I still enjoy it. And I know my voice is annoying, but we have to talk in these things. As I learned. Ah! Oh, I'm so glad that wasn't a bottomless pit. This is looking an awful lot like Flying Fortress in Sonic 2. Especially with these, uh, chicken turret gunners. This is a cool level. Yes, the wind is in fact pushing me back. I was hoping there'd be like a giant ring in there. Ooh, that's not the door I wanted open. Back inside, though. Oh, dang it. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, you don't want to hit the bottom of those platforms, they will damage you. Sure, I'll give them another try. Why not? too soon there. Oh, well. Yeah, something about the spear stages in this game tripped me up much more than they did in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Part of it might be, to be because that they are actually different stages. I can't just rely on memory. If I can use one of these things, what? Oh. My shield actually protects me from their bolts. It's probably not those blades on the bottom, though. Back outside, I or back inside, I guess. 
I did not see that switch until just now. Sure, I'll take that. I don't think I've gotten this one yet today. Maybe I have. I think I have. Crap, I didn't see that red one. Oh dear. Look at that. An actual Chaos Emerald stage here. Probably find out where the um, UFO is at some point here. Ah, oh, there it is. I mean, gathering rings and speed is good and all, but at some point I need to actually focus on the objective here. Some good. Ooh. It ran into me and that counted. Okay, sure, I'll take that. Succeeding by accident? Why not? I think those things were in. Um, this game from Sonic and Knuckles originally. Flying Batters on it. Not sure. Okay, so Tails, stop. I didn't want you to pick me up. For some reason, I'm having memory of having difficulty with this section. Okay, Tails, let go. Um, did I just glitch through the wall or something? 
Yeah, I think I glitched through the wall. Uh. Oops. How do I get out of this? Controlling the camera somehow. That's me look, looking up and down, I guess. Run to the right a little bit. Or and back to the left. Okay, let's see if I can, um... Yeah, unfortunately, starting me at the beginning of the stage. Yeah, I don't know what in the world happened there. Alright. I mean, I suppose I could have just waited a few more minutes for her at the game to, uh, for me to run out of time. But that doesn't sound like a good idea. There's multiple switches you have to push if you want to get in there. Okay, I need to stop doing whatever I just did there. Okay. Definitely want to get that stuff taken care of before the speed becomes unmanageable. Turn left. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah, they make the. I think they also make them trickier than they did in Sonic 3 and Knuckles and such. I'm not sure, but I think that's the case. I don't think I was... Oh, here we go. Here. 
about to say, this doesn't look all that familiar. This way, I guess. I keep going in these things even though I have a very low success ratio with them. I mean, these are not the ones you use to get Chaos Emeralds, so not really story critical. This is just bonus content that I'm knocking with this stuff here. But still, I should be doing better at this stuff than I am. Fundamentally, it's not different from the stuff inside of Three Knuckles. It's just faster and more challenging. But Perhaps some more input lag? I don't know. them somewhere. Grab that ring while I'm at it. I only need one more ring for a perfect. Do you get anything for getting a perfect, getting all the rings, but not all the um, spheres? I don't know. I hope not to have to find out. Ah, uh, here we go. I missed one, and then I had a bad jump. But I did uh, get the perfect on that thing. It's, uh... uh bad to go this way. Ah, dumped out like yesterday's trash. No. Four tails. Helpful, friendly spider, unlike the spider from chemical plant zone, who's trying to crush you. Okay, this is a little bit odd. Uh, oh, okay, the yellow one. Got it. Okay, why not try to get the rings if I can? Ah. I 
couldn't turn fast enough there. Love all the excuses I'm making for why I stink at that. Okay. Interesting. These uh, electric things were in um, Sonic uh, CD. I guess it's not all that surprising. I mean, I straight up a level in Sonic CD in this game, so... Interesting. What? I was supposed to do there, but all right, clearly not that. Let's try to avoid that. I get up there. No. the wind blowing like this, I can't, um, make whatever, um, hmm. I'm trying to wait to see if it, uh, dies down or something. There we go. I think I got it there. I think I figured it out. I had to be holding to the left, not to the right. It's kind of odd, but whatever. Okay. I'm not going to bother with that one again. <clears throat> oh, what do we have here? Oh. How the heck did I damage this thing? I supposed to bounce it into the spikes? I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Yep, that's exactly what I'm supposed to do. Got it. Okay, now I know what I'm doing. Now I know what I'm doing here. Yes, I think. I promise I kept finding myself on the wrong side of them. Alright, um...
There we go. Try, but hey, this is my second, and not like my ninth. Like I did with bosses and secure. <laughs> cool. Yeah, the levels in here are a lot longer than certainly in the levels in Sonic 1. Hey, look, a Sonic 2 Game Gear reference. That's fun. I think this is another new level for this game. Alright, Tails, what are you doing down there making all that racket? <sighs> oh, okay, I see what I'm supposed to do. Papers rolling real fast. I wonder what they say. Too bad I can't get like a full color image when paused. Which is not dumb, but whatever. It looks like newspaper incoming out of that. Rabbit, robot rabbits coming out, I guess. Okay. Interesting. if I was going to work there, but thankfully it did. Interesting. So don't go on those things again. If I can remember that. I can't remember which one it is, actually. Hmm. 
Okay, how do I get to the other rings? There we go. That's some of them anyway. Nope. I did the thing I tried to remind myself not to do. Those are actually blocks I can jump on. Okay. Some of the time, anyway. This entire level collapsing? That's kind of what it sounds like. the bouncing uh, objects in this level. Jumping this platform is. Oh, hit that thing, I guess. Oh, right. Alright, now I get it. I keep forgetting those are actually switches. Sign of a giant ring. Focus on the spheres themselves. The blue spheres, not the red spheres. Huh? 
that one up obviously if I'm getting plenty of free lives anyway well, they're not exactly free if you're earning them with a hundred rings but still getting plenty of extra lives I'm not intending to beat this game in the stream here I'm just trying to get as far as I can in the roughly two hours I allot myself. My modern Wednesday stream. Probably sure what it did. Oh, okay. We're trying to make it hit itself. All right. We wanted to hit these um, orange blocks, I guess. Does it need to hit all of them? Maybe I'm supposed to be hitting it when it's doing that. I'm not sure. supposed to hit it somehow? I don't know. A little confusing. Beat it by accident, I guess. Oh. Hey, well, thanks for stopping by, anyway. Take it easy, I guess. Hopefully you got something out of this stream, I guess. Uh, let's, uh, ooh, do this. I'll probably be calling it quits in about 10-15 minutes as of this point anyway. It's almost 1 a.m. Yeah, that's done with me. Oh, 
Apparently we want to be frozen. Look at Sonic. Here we go again. Wow, I... How, how are you supposed to be able to anticipate that? You basically have to know that it's going to be like that, I think. Otherwise, you have to have lightning quick reflexes, which I don't have. And, um, obviously, really good and fast eyesight, too. Or I mean, you just have to not be terrible, like me. It's been a while since I had a Chaos Emblem special stage. Wow, that wasn't exactly helpful, was it? Uh, where did the spring go? Alright, fine. be really lousy if I didn't have tails there. Ah, there we go. Look at that. I was wondering if um, hitting that while invincible would have any impact on me. Apparently it doesn't. Damn it. There you go. Guys, deal. Oh, it seems like a Mega Man boss. Actually, he seems like kind of like a Sekiro boss. If that makes any sense. Wow. There we go. Right, I guess that was the last level. I guess that was the second boss of this area. I expected it to be Robotnik, but nope, not this time. Uh oh. What's Robotnik up to? Up to do with Metal Sonic? And maybe the Death Egg? 
Or was that the um, weird little planet from Sonic CD? I think that's what that was. Speaking of which, this is totally a, le le a level from Sonic CD. This is my friend's favorite level from this game. So I think it was. That's not how you're supposed to do it. When I played some Sonic CD on Retro Monday a couple months ago, I definitely did not make it to this level. Donkey Kong Country style barrel action there, maybe? So it reminds me of anyway. Oh yeah, this that definitely reminds me of the barrels in Donkey Kong Country. I don't wanna go in there. I'll just fail it again. Gets in on it. There we go. 
No, I still haven't gotten anything from this sign dropping. I was not controlling it when it did that. Cool. See, I think I'll try to beat this stage and then call it a day. If I can, that is. Try to go through it as quickly as I can. Then. Oops. That guy's getting a little annoying. This is the other little animals. There's Metal Sonic. Oh yeah, if I remember correctly, this was an annoying boss fight. I think they have to nerf it though. Polygonal 3D modeling going on in the background. Or maybe they nerfed it in a... This is actually new, I think. There we go, beat it without any rings left. Yay, 
get Sonic got through Act 2. We're the happy little birds and pigs. Okay. Hydro City Zone. Well, folks, I think I'm going to call it a day. It's 1 o'clock in the morning and I need to go to bed. But thank you so much for watching. I appreciate when people watch my streams and videos and such. Just as a quick reminder, I do a daily long play stream almost every day, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time from Sunday through Thursday. I do a retro stream on Monday night, 8 p.m. Um, on a modern stream Wednesday night, 11 p.m. like tonight or later if I get out of work late. And I do 4K and or HDR uploads on Friday or Saturday. Basically once a week. And uh, yeah, tomorrow I'll be doing more secure Shadow Strike twice at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if I get out of work early tomorrow, early enough, that's... Uh, then I will do a little uh, another secure grind session where I'll try to earn enough um, skill points to get that um, enhanced mortal blade technique. But we'll see. No promises. It all depends on if I get out of work early. And then on Friday, I will try to record and more and upload more 4K footage of Okami HD on the Xbox One X. But yeah, you've been watching me play a little bit of Sonic. Mania on the Xbox One, badly, but enjoying it nonetheless. I guess I'll see you back here tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. for a secure Shadow Sty twice. And until then, take it easy.